Hey, what's up, guys? Power Maniac 720 here, and I have for you some more battles from the VGC 16 ladder on um, what's this thing called? Showdown. Wow, could not think of what Showdown was called. Um, so we're gonna hop right into it. This is Red Hot Battles number. I don't know, eight maybe. I don't really remember to be honest. It's we find we're playing the J Crew Factory, so pretty stylish team here. Um, we see Groudon, Bronzong. Uh, Togekiss, Kangaskhan, Smeargle, and Xerneas. So a lot of options here. Of course, you see the potential. Hey, let's trick room and sweep option with um, Bronzong and Groudon. You see the potential con artist. You see um, Xerneas being Xerneas and with Kangaskhan. You see a follow me option. Like everything going on here. I'm going to lead Ambipom Whimsicott because that's kind of my general like anti-shenanigans lead because my Ambipom carries Fake Out and Quick Guard. So like... Oh, hey, this Kang has inner focus potentially. I'll just quick guard its fake out. Um, so we're going to do that. Definitely want Groudon or Kyogre in the back because that seems pretty solid. And I think Metagross in the back looks pretty good. I think Bullet Punch will be useful. As we see Togekiss and Kangaskhan for my opponent. Cool beans. Hmm, the question is what do I do here? I'm going to fake out the Togekiss and I'm going to taunt it as well. I think we're going to trade fake outs here. I think he's going to stay non-mega. He's going to have the inner focus shenanigans going on here. Um, which, yeah, it looks like he is. So, Oh, he's not going to... He's just going to power punch me instead. Uh, Tokikis, of course, flinches and is taunted. So I'm just going to return the Kangaskhan. And I'm going to worry seed it as well. Because that way I don't have to worry about him parental bonding me anymore with his attacks. So that was solid. Uh, we see another power up punch. Actually, every problem going to survive it. Sweet. As Air Slash almost knocks out Whimsicott, but not quite. So here I'm just going to gunk shot the Togekiss. Hopefully knock it out. And I'm going to Tailwind to make sure I'm fast on whatever comes in. Because being fast is always helpful. Um, so Tailwind comes out. Gunk shot. Does not knock out Togekiss. He returns me. I don't know why he didn't power up punch me again. That didn't make much sense. Um, but I'm in really good shape here. Um, taunt, of course, wears off. Uh, the only issue here is if he's got Groudon on the back, which I'm definitely anticipating. I'm going to Bullet Punch and Ice Beam the Kangaskhan. He's going to follow me, so okay, I guess I should have Origin Pulse. <laughs> That's going to end poorly for me. Really anticipated my opponent there um, going for the switching to Groudon so, so I don't origin pulse him because otherwise I'm in pretty good shape but I guess he's not really worried about that uh, so I'm going to I guess Zen head by Groudon I don't know oh, he, he's going to sucker punch me okay I think he's going to do that play thrower plus sucker punch knocks me out so that ends up being the game so oh wow I forgot to put my music on so so sorry alright so we go to our next battle, which is still searching for a battle. All right, and we find Phoenix Fury 4 with a team of Groudon, Palkia, uh, Mawile, Venusaur, Gengar, and Crobat. So clearly, once again, a Trick Room option. Palkia learns Trick Room, Gengar learns Trick Room. Uh, you get a couple slower Pokemon like Mawile, Groudon, and Venusaur is pretty slow too. I don't typically see a trick room Venusaur, but um, that Palkia is going to be an issue, I think. Although I have Gardevoir. I don't really need. Metagross is nice for the Zen Headbutt, but Gardevoir does it just as well as Psychic. So I'm going to lead Ambipalm, Gardevoir, with Zekrom, and I think Kyogre in the back. Kyogre looks really good here. My phone doesn't have anything great to hit it with except maybe like a Super Fang plus Precipice Blade, but. Um, so we're going to see Gengar Mawile for my opponent. Oh, I was really hoping to trace Intimidate. <laughs> um, which is fine with me. Um, I'm going to fake out... Nope. I'm going to just right off the bat gunk shot that Gengar. So I can break its sash. And I'm going to switch in Kyogre. Because Kyogre takes Sludge Bomb and Iron Head pretty well. So I'm not really concerned um, about the attacks coming at me.
All right, so my opponent, I'm, my opponent has some moves here. Um, I don't think we're gonna see a trick room from Gengar because I can pretty easily go fake out Psychic or like double target the Gengar, and knock it out, and not let trick room get up. Um, and then you know he he could just iron hit by Gardevoir, but like I don't know, I don't think he would trade. He actually that'd be a pretty good trade. That'd be a really good trade. I should have. Oh, he wouldn't get trick room up though. Hmm. If he trick rooms, I'm in trouble. As we sit and play the waiting game, it's actually not my internet this time, which is very surprising. As we sit and we wait. As we continue to wait. Um, so let's talk about the team a little bit. Um, I really like Metagross in this metagame. I think it's... I think it's really solid. It does well against a lot of things. I'm not sold on Zen Headbutt yet. I think I might switch it for another attack because, hey, he made his move finally. So Gung Shot coming at the Gengar. Does a lot of damage. He burns the Ambipom and play roughs the Ambipom. What a jerk move. But that's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, so I'm going to Earth Power the Mawile. I really want an Origin Pulse, but I think he's going to switch. I'm going to go for it, though. A little switch here would be so good for him. I could switch in a... See, I want to switch in a Gardevoir, but like if he switches Gengar, he would probably play rough, though. See, this is why I don't like... This is my biggest issue with this this format. Is like I just don't feel like I can ever switch um, safely. And I really can't. And Groudon comes in. So I, I guess I get the Earth Power right, but the Sludge Bomb is a huge chunk and gets the poison, which is really big. What? Okay. Alright, so. I guess I'll just. I'm gonna Fusion Bolt the Gengar, and I'm gonna Ice Beam the Groudon. I'm just gonna try and knock it right out. Oh, he's going to switch it into Palkia. Okay. He Sludge Bombs Kyogre. So Fusion Bolt gets a knockout, which is nice. Ice Beam is going to freeze the Palkia, which is even nicer. Mawile comes in. I'm going to Fusion Bolt the Palkia and Origin Pulse here. He just... Oh, he survived it. Ooh. Knocked out the Palkia. Play rough coming off. So this is about to get very interesting. If this is physical Groudon, I pretty much lose. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Earth Power them all while. And I'm going to Psychic the Groudon. And if he sucker punches Zekrom, then I win because I... Yeah, that, this is my win condition. He's going to protect Groudon. I didn't think of that move. Did not think of that move one bit. I I was thinking this way, and then I just win next turn, but I guess not. I guess now I hyper voice. <laughs> this sucks. If it's, if it's physical, I lose straight up. Oh, I should have protected. I should have went to protect Hyper Voice. That poison really did a, a number. Oh, it didn't kill it. And he's physical and he connects, so it's a GG. I didn't even think of that possibility. So we go to the next battle. Oh, nine minutes. That's not so bad. And we see Omega Knight 11 here with a team of Kyogre, Thunderous Therian, Liopard, Rayquaza, um, Ferrothorn, and Clefable. Interesting team. Um, so my big issue with my team is I don't have a way to hit this guy right here, the Ferrothorn. Like, I don't have one super effective move for it. Which is an issue, but I do have Whimsicott and I have Gardevoir. And I can hyper voice things, which is always helpful. Kyogre in the back with Zekrom. 
Um, I think this team looks... I think my team handles this team really well except for the Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn walls me the hell and back. I really need to add a fire move. Cray cray, that's clever. I traced airlock, yay. I think the moves here are pretty obvious from my point. Um, I think we're gonna see a fake out onto Gardevoir. And probably a Dragon Ascent. So I'm gonna Tailwind. Does he double target Whimsicott? Maybe. Do I risk that? I think I may fake out. Oh, he probably gonna go fake out Whimsicott. And so I'm gonna Tailwind, and I'm going to switch in Zekrom. I think he's gonna go fake out onto Whimsicott, and then just Dragon Ascent Gardevoir, which makes the most sense to my brain. And Zekrom's a good switch here because unless he like makes the most ridiculous call in the world and Draco's that slot, it's pretty safe. He goes fake out Zekrom though. Which I kind of wasn't expecting. But I am faster now. And I can taunt this uh, stupid Lipard. Does anything switch into a Draco Meteor? I guess just um, Pharaoh. But I don't really mind taking the Draco drop. Oh, I guess Cliff Able would too. Maybe I should Fusion Bolt it. Maybe that makes more sense. Oh, he's just getting extreme speed instead. That also made a lot of sense. Uh-oh. Swagger's me. Swagger strong. The good news is if I can get rid of this confusion, I'm in very good shape. Also, I should survive extreme speed, I think. I have 4 HP right now. I didn't actually think about extreme speed being an issue. I think it might be. This isn't good. Let's calc it. All right, let's see. Gardevoir versus Rayquaza. Whoop, that's right. Oh, good. Mega. We'll go Jolly. 252. Uh, extreme Speed. Life Orb does not knock me out. Yes. So that is fantastic. And I lost my Confusion which is even better. So Hyper Voice again, and this is the great thing about um, Zekrom, is I, because of Terra Volt, it's basically Mold Breaker, so I avoid this Volt Absorb. Was he switching Ferrothorn? Oh, he didn't even bring the Ferrothorn! And I get the Oko. That was amazing. So I'm in excellent shape right now. Maybe. Um, what do I have in the back? Oh, my own Kyogre. I think I like this. I think I like my position a lot. Uh, I'm going to Hyper Voice again. And I'm, I think we're just going to Hyper Voice. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to Hyper Voice. And um, Fusion Bolt, the Kyogre. The only way this backfires is if he... I don't know. How is this backfire? Let's think about it. This play, if he protects and attacks... Oh! I was not expecting that play. If he attacked Gardevoir there, I was in big trouble. But that worked out even better. So, GG. Yeah, my... Hyper Voice, Fusion Bolt... So, yeah, my... my... But that could have backfired if he had Dragon Ascent to Gardevoir and knocked me out. I really shouldn't have worried about Kyogre because I have Thunder on my own Kyogre to beat Kyogre. And we get the win. All right. So let's go to another a battle. As we sit and play the waiting game, we find Frequent Flyer with a pretty standard looking team of Kyogre, Kangaskhan, Xerneas, Crobat, Talonflame, and Smeargle. Uh, 
so I'm going to lead once again my Anthony Shenanigan lead, which is Ambicom and Whimsicott. Definitely like Zekrom here and Metagross. Gonna leave Kyogre is pretty good here too, um, because nothing really hits a heart except for maybe Kang and that's like Life Orb Talonflame. As we see Smeargle Talonflame for my opponent. My opponent has two options here. They can just quick guard and Yeah, my opponent can go Quick Guard and um, Stark Void, which if his Scarf is his obvious play, or he can go Tailwind Spiky Shield, which also works. I'm going to double the Smeargle. I'm, I'm really concerned that it's Scarf. That if it's Scarf, I'm in trouble. Oh, of course. Of course I play that just horribly. Ugh. Damn. Well, I guess I'll just also Tailwind. He quick guards, so no point in taunting. Just might as well make myself as fast as possible. Oh. All right. Let's try taunting the Smeargle now. Although, I'm not going to wake up this turn anyway. I really need a first turn away from this Ambipom. I'm guessing we're going to see a switch here. Oh, we see Kyogre come in. Wake up! Ugh. I'm gonna quick guard and see if I can wake up here, and I'm going to grass knot the Kyogre. Hey, look at that, I gotta wake up. Give me a second, wake up. Give me another wake up. Ah, oh, grass knot would have been clutch. Oh, but I do survive, which is nice. All right, let's try this again. Quick guard, grass knot. And the nice thing is, unless he switches, he can't Flare Blitz me. But if he Flare Blitzes, my Grass Knot will come off first anyway. Oh, he's going to switch up into Kangaskhan and protect the Kyogre. Boo. I saw wow, max sleep turns. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to Quick Guard. And Grass Knot. Although I could Tailwind. Or I could work. I have so many options. I don't think he's going to fake out. I don't... He's not going to fake out. I'm going to return the Kangaskhan. And I'm going to Tailwind. Alright, he didn't fake out. Perfect. I get some decent damage. He gets a little power-up punch off. Also fine with me. But now Zekrom comes in. And Zekrom's a truck. So I'm going to return the Kang. And Fusion Bolt, the Talonflame. And again, this feels like a really good move. My issue here is if Tailwind runs out, if I'm at that in awkward in-between state, he's going to Tailwind here, I think. Although Brave Birding and Ambipal might make sense. Well, he might think I'll Quick Guard. I don't think, he's going to think I'm going to Quick Guard, I think. So, I think my move makes pretty good sense here. Oh, he's going to Tailwind. Perfect. Return knocks him out. Fusion Bolt knocks him out. Things are looking very good for me right now. Now the question is, who does he target? I'm not concerned about Smeargle. I'm concerned about Kyogre, so I'm going to double target that. I can't double it. I'm going to return the Smeargle and Fusion Bolt the Kyogre. Let's see if the Smeargle follows me. Nope. So that should be game. Perfect. Another battle. Because, <clears throat> of course, I have my Bullet Punch. And he's going to forfeit, so he realized it, too. Um... Oh, it's 19 minutes, so and I have to get to the dentist appointment anyway. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the battle. And until next time, goodbye.